Hi, I'm Chuck Worrell with ABT Power Management, and you're watching Prescriptive Power, your remedy for motive power pain. In this first segment, we're going to talk about the fundamentals of lead-acid batteries and the markets that they serve. The lead-acid battery was invented by Gaston Planté in 1859, who improved on the previous design of Volta's pile, which stacked silver and zinc plates on top of each other, separated by brine-soaked cloth. This produced DC electric, but was not rechargeable. So the advantage of Gaston's design was that you could recharge it by sending amperage across the plates. Surprisingly, since 1859, the technology at the core of lead-acid batteries has not changed much. You can change the size of the plate, sometimes the alloy in the lead, but for the most part, lead-acid batteries remain to be lead-acid batteries today. Even though they don't seem very technologically advanced, they do serve a lot of different markets, including automotive, marine, golf carts, off-road vehicles, and DC backup systems. What we'll focus on here in prescriptive power is how lead-acid batteries and other DC power sources serve the material handling market. Lead-acid batteries remain popular in all these markets because from a cost-effective standpoint, they provide the most power on a cost per watt basis. Thank you for watching Prescriptive Power. Join us next time where we'll talk about how lead-acid batteries actually work.